In a city known for its fearsome super gangs, criminal enterprise, like the Land Kings, the Gangster Disciples, the 2-6 stand now as an example of the mean streets and neighborhoods in Chicago. Like I always say, the streets where you're born define who you ride with, not your race. This is gang life. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. Eyes picked to my back for my shoelaces. Got out, should've seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger. In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling, six time failing. I went back to prison, got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to get back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone, I ain't never gonna miss them. From wrong to strong, stay true to the vision. From wrong to, to strong, from wrong to strong, from wrong to, to strong, from wrong to strong. What's up, JC? You know you like my sombrero. I've been looking for one of these for a minute. I actually found it at the airport. And I've been looking for a poncho with the Mexican ego on there. Yeah, I'll get that soon, soon. Welcome back. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you don't miss nothing. You know, my shenanigans, what we talk about on this channel, don't miss it. I'm, I'm telling you, you, I'll grow on you. <laughs> if you're part of my Suburban family, Subanse la Suburban, let's put some gas in it and let's take a ride. Remember, underneath is uh, the t-shirts and everything. I actually got one made with the Suburban on there, so the guys that Want to roll with the Suburban? Don't forget to get your Suburban t-shirt. All right, let's get into this. In 1971, Little Village was heavily, heavily dominated by the Land Kings and the Rich Wade Lords. It, they began giving smaller groups of non-gang affiliated youth a hard time. There was a baseball team from McCormick, McCormick School. God, I have a lot of memories from that school. I went to that school as a kid. And then from there, I went to McCormick Branch where they jumped, put us on some buses and sent us over there by, uh, on uh, Western and I forgot the other street, but yeah. Alfonso Ayala Jr. was a team captain of a baseball team for McCormick. Along with his two brothers, all three brothers were the sons of Alfonso Ayala Sr. That was a well-known cartel-connected man. Well-known. Many of the kids lived on 26th Street, so they say that's how they got their name, 2-6, the, you know, the team. They, begun having, they, they started having conflict with the Land Kings, and this led to an all-out war. Pretty much... What always happens is, you know, it's almost like that saying, if you're not with us, you're against us. And it always sparks up a war or uh, it could just be like two dudes that don't like each other. And instead of like settling it, it turns into an all out war, man. Uh, I hate to say it, but you know, it's, it's crazy how little village, you know, was for me when I was growing up because as Kids, you know, we I grew up on, on Christiana. There was a store in the corner that was called Armando's Grocery Store. We used to ride our bikes, right? And I think we would get to, I want to say, right before Ridgeway, uh, the street before, is it Central? I don't remember. I got to look it up. But if you know, drop a message, let me know. There's a big church there. 
It's actually where Cato had his funeral. And not even knowing, not like not even knowing as kids, we would turn around right there on our bikes and go back. Like, it, it's crazy because it's embedded in you not to cross. It's an uh, imaginary line where the two six have their hood now because, you know, the Land Kings dominate one side and the two six dominate the other side. But it's crazy how being born in that neighborhood and being a youth like that, it was embedded into us where we didn't even know why, but we knew we couldn't go over there. So, you know, we would ride our bikes and then turn around right there. I used to always hang around with my boy Ray. He lived on Trumbull. And, you know, uh, it, it, was, it was crazy, man. You know, at such a young age, sometimes getting beat up for no reason because, you know, we were in the wrong neighborhood at the wrong time. A lot of history. Two six have a lot of history that a lot of people don't know about. You know, um, most of the crew used to hang out on 26th Street and Sawyer. There was a bar there. It's crazy because 26th and Sawyer is like straight, you know, land kinghood now. But that's where they used to hang out at. But at this time, the two six was actually not a gang. It was actually said that they were put together to establish like a crew to move drugs in uh, Chicago because a family was connected with them that, you know, ran the whole like heroin trade from Texas all the way to Chicago so they controlled the whole west of Chicago. It is said that the, the guy that put this team together, he's very, really known on, on 26th Street. His name was Sweet Wine. Uh, he said they said he was a tough motherfucker. You know, he was he was a badass dude. and. Just, you know, just a tough, tough dude. But this is what helped the 2-6 actually establish such a strong connection on the street is that they already had strong connections to the cartel in Mexico at a very young stage of becoming, you know, a gang. And this is what helped them actually become a super gang. In 1977, the day that I was born, 16 year old, Alfonso Ayala Jr. took the name 2-6 from that crew and converted it into a street gang, giving them colors, sweaters, and symbols. The colors being black and beige. In my day when I used to know a lot of the, the guys from that area, when I used to go to you know, high school in Cicero, they used to wear a lot of Raider gear too because it represented something for them. Their symbol is a rabbit head with a bent ear. They also, you know, tag a heart, a club, and a diamond, three lines and three dots. I think they call them maniac lines now. Um, but they hit the ground running because of all these connections. The two six were supplied with like superior firepower over all the other street gangs. And this is what helped, helped them grow like crazy. Hood after hood started being opened. And they become they became really really big. People don't realize that a lot of the other gangs have been around for a long time. You know, like you know, for take for instance the Land Kings, they've been around even before the fifties. Like they were already together organized. This is why they were they dominated so much. But the two six, if you really look at it, it's a very young gang you know it started in 1977 but they hit the ground running because of all these connections and it helped them grow so much hood after hood started opening up you know k-town dark side cicero 32nd 38 gauge park back of the yards uh, a lot of the suburbs two six is perhaps one of the first mexican street gangs that were in all white neighborhoods back in the day yeah so like i said i have boys in every kind of street gang you could possibly think of from cali to chicago to new york to florida uh shout out to lemonhead rick and cheekies from ridgeway you know there were two six from back then rocco from dark side you know i met some solid ass dudes you know that now that I'm a grown ass man, I have nothing but respect for a lot of those dudes. And, and you know, like I said, I share this information as a learning tool and as a 
entertainment and for you you guys to realize that at the end of the day, you know, we wasted a lot of time fighting for something that wasn't us because if you really think about it, I mean, even look at like Humble Park, the north side now. Half of that park now is all white. They tore it down. They built condos, Starbucks is there. So everybody's gone from there now, you know? And that's the thing is that we been fighting for years for something that's not up, that's not ours, you know? But it is what it is. This is the way that we grow up. We make decisions and, you know, hopefully people can retract back and fix what they did. Like I'm trying to do now with every, all the work that I do and everything. So it is what it is, guys. This is where I say, don't judge nobody. Stay in your lane, give somebody a hug. Live savage. You only have one life to live. But if you live it right, one life is all you need, guys. And, and like I said, come on, man. Let's make a change. It's, it's time. It's time. My name's JC. I am Wrong Strong. And this is Gang Life. I'll catch you guys on the rebound.